Hey guys, Omni here. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be doing a movie reaction. It's actually for the movie The Martian, which won our poll over on Patreon and on the YouTube side of things, if you're a member over there. Uh, every month I have a poll where you guys actually put forth your suggestions and then vote on what movies I react to over there in full length. Um, I'm trying to feel out and see how I want to do maybe doing highlights for the movies that do win those polls for here on YouTube. Um, so this is actually the previous month's winner, but you know, due to the amount of time it actually takes to trim these things down and get this thing out, I'm thinking about how to release these, whether it be like a few weeks after the initial end of the month, or maybe even just keep them a month behind so that there's plenty of time to make sure that these are done and well and good enough for you guys to when I do put these out there. Also, it's just a little added incentive for people to go check out the Patreon and the YouTube membership so you guys can actually influence what movies react to each month uh, here on the channel itself. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. I'm going to feel this out and see how this goes, and maybe this will be something we do moving forward. Remember, if you want to see the full-length reaction to this, you can check it out over on Patreon, or if you become a member of the channel, it gets you access as well, and also gives you access to suggest and vote on what movies we do this in the future with. And it's because of those members that we're even allowed to do this at all right now and that I have the ability to do this. So I really do appreciate you guys so much. Along with that, you get the full length for all the shows we cover here on the channel. You get monthly Q&As, behind the scenes footage, and try to make it worth your while since you are going out of your way to support the channel. But of course, I know Dobber can do that and a simple way you can help us out is by liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing these videos because it goes a long way helping us here on the channel. But with that all said down the way, guys, let's go ahead and hop into my reaction to The Martian. I just don't know. I hope there. I hope this reaction-wise is uh, worth it in the end, though. So I've heard it's a good movie, but I don't know how strong of reactions we'll get from it. We'll just have to wait and find out. Roger that. Martinez, the captain, would like you to please uh, shut your smart mouth. <laughs> we would prefer to use a different adjective to describe Martinez. Holy mouth. shit! I didn't realize all these people were in here. Michael Pena. Chastain, Kate Mara, Sebastian Stan. I, I only knew Matt Damon was in this. This storm's gonna be a lot worse. Martinez, how's it look? Oh, fuck. We are estimating with a margin of error. We could wait it out. Let's wait it out. Prep emergency departure. We're scrubs, that's an order. I mean, that would suck either way. Like, what if they met that margin of error and made it out fine it's pretty big risk but or if they leave and they would have met that and they have to shut down this whole thing maybe can't come back all that wasted effort and time or they stay and die oh uh, oh Fuck what I said about the reactions, man. Holy shit, this is intense and it's just started. Is Matt Damon Watney? I don't know who Watney was. Well, must be. We haven't seen Damon in a hot minute. She's not going to be able to find him, go to the ship. They're gonna leave. The movie continues. My friend just died. I don't want my commander to die too. Stability warning. Man, I can't blame him for thinking he's gone and done, man. It's such a shitty situation to be in. Satellites detected a storm approaching the Ares Three mission site on. Jeff Daniels. The storm had escalated to severe, and we had no choice but to abort. My God, well, I forgot anything and everything about this movie, man. Mark Watton was struck by debris and killed. <laughs> Oxygen level critical. How has he not died? So did his suit not actually decompress? 
Well, they said his breach alarm went off, which would explain the spike in it, but maybe the spike itself set that alarm off, but kept the pressure sound inside the suit. And he's just been exhausting the oxygen supply while he's been passed out. What's his expertise? Because, man... He's gonna have a whole, he's a lot, a whole lot of ingenuity to get through all this. What was that? Yeah, fuck what I said about this, like, not being reactionable. <laughs> What are you going for, my dude? Oh, just a shard of metal just jammed up in there. Man, how the fuck did he even know that was in there? <laughs> God. Hopefully nothing serious was penetrated. Dude, fuck that. I mean, you can still have, you know, if it punctured an organ, internal bleeding, just stapling the outside, it's not gonna... I mean, what choices do you have right now? Let's be real. To be stranded, to be the only human... On an entire planet millions of miles away from anybody else surprise <laughs> even though the crew must have thought i was dead i have no way to contact nasa and even if i could it's gonna be four years until a man jesus i was about to ask that question because i don't know the math water reclaimer breaks i'll die of thirst if they have breaches i'm just gonna kind of implode and if by some miracle none of that happens, eventually I'm going to run out of food. Didn't he also play a stranded guy in Interstellar, except that guy went crazy? <laughs> that was him, right? I've seen that. Both in theaters and a few times since. Dude, I don't even know how I would have the willpower to, like, process all of this and move forward. Also, wouldn't want to die either, but the situation's got to be so... I would have... I mean, I ha it would have to be so defeating. I gotta figure out a way to grow three years' worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows. Luckily. So, Soul... Is a one Earth day, I assume. Mars will come to fear my botany power. <laughs> oh, is they vacuum packing all of their excrement? Thing is, he said a manned mission would take four years. His crew would have to either A, turn around, or it's a eight-year haul. Because he's assuming they made it back already, it seems like. Because he said a manned mission would take four years, right? Or is the hope that he can get the word out before they get all the way there i'm I, i'm a little ha hazy on that at the moment or maybe it's a two-year trip four year uh, four-year trip total two year back two year back maybe that's it maybe i just misunderstood the verbiage
Ah, oh, fuck you, Mars. <laughs> He's, he's the most lucky that that didn't do any major internal damage. So no matter how this plan would have went, that would definitely have gotten in the way. And then if I just direct the hydrogen into a small area and burn it, luckily in the history of humanity, nothing bad has ever happened from lighting hydrogen on fire. <laughs> I am sorry, Martinez, but if you didn't want me to go through your stuff, you shouldn't have left me for dead on a desolate planet. By the way, I'm figuring you're going to be fine with this, given my present situation. <laughs> Oh! Account for the excess oxygen that I've been exhaling when I did my calculations. Because I'm stupid. <laughs> no. Far from stupid, my guy. Yo. Wow. Hey there. Little green hand. By doing so, they honor the legacy Mark's leaving behind. And they ensure his sacrifice will not be in vain. She would tell Edgy Thor, holy shit. <laughs> He's not going anywhere, Teddy. I mean, he's not hes not going to decompose. He's going to be up there forever. Meteorology estimates that he'll be covered in sand from normal weather activity within a year. Wow. Mackenzie Davis? <laughs> what the fuck is this movie, dude? They, they're, oh! Somebody just monitoring the planet noticed a change. This is Mindy Park in SatCon. I need the emergency contact for Vincent Kapoor. Yes, it's an emergency. Yeah. Realign a little bit here. 100%. You've got to be shitting me. Prove it to me. Oh my God. Kristen fucking wig. This cast how jesus i mean he's 50 million miles away from home he thinks he's totally alone he thinks we gave up on him <laughs> i'm definitely gonna die up here <laughs> my god commander lewis couldn't you have packed anything from this century no i'm not i'm not gonna turn the beat around i refuse to <laughs> to survive? We'll be looking into that. What does this say about the agency? Are you going to resign? No. Director Sanders! <laughs> Are you going to resign? Fuck no! I gotta live for 50 days inside a rover with marginal life support the size of a small van. In the face of overwhelming odds, I'm left with only one option. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of Oh, fuck. Ah. Oh. This is gorgeous, though. Like, these shots. If I do not use my heater, I will be <laughs> slowly killed by the laws of thermodynamics. Oh. <laughs> now, if I remember my training correctly, one of the lessons was titled, Don't Dig Up the Big Box of Plutonium, Mark. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm warm because I have a decaying radioactive isotope riding right behind me, but right now I got bigger problems on my hands. I have scoured every single data file on Commander Lewis. Why is this so funny? The least disco song she owns. Dude, whatever you gotta do to keep your shit going, man. 
76 kilometers. Am I reading that right? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Mark drove two hours straight away from the house. That's Sean Bean, right? It's, I don't know, yeah, okay. I don't always recognize him when he doesn't have a facial hair. Every 41 hours, there's a 17 minute gap. It's just the way the orbits work, so. Right! I remember a lot of people talking about this being like the one, there was a bit of a meme about him being in this movie and be like, well, how, how are they gonna find a way to kill him in this film? But he's smart enough to figure out that's his only chance. Bruce, what's the earliest we can get a pre-supply there? Well, with the positions of Earth and Mars, it'll take nine months. Oh my God! Benedict Wong! All natural, organic, Martian-grown potatoes. You don't hear that every day, do you? And by the way, none of this matters at all if I can't figure out a way to make contact with NASA. Dude, you, you don't even have to at this point. I mean, it would definitely help, but they're planning something. I need a map. I like how his interest in this whole thing turned around from him just trying to scavenge what they can sell and make back at their assets and stuff to a genuine, like, need to try to help him. What the fuck? Was it like a previous rover or something? Wow. One oh nine, man. He's gone. He's lasted a long ass time. He's got. It's just such a small fraction of how much longer there is to go, though. Signs. Communications time. All he can do is ask yes, no questions, and all we can do is point the camera. This won't exactly be now gone when roundtable of snappy repartee. Yeah. Tell, tell. <laughs> who also had copies of Zork 2 and Leather Goddesses of Phobos on her personal laptop. <laughs> Seriously, y'all Hanson, it's like the Smithsonian of lonely. <laughs> I know where he's going with this. Where he's going with this. Damn, this is so in June. In it, like ingenious. How alive. Glad to hear it. Really looking forward to not dying. <laughs> <laughs> How's the crew? What did they say when they found out I was alive? He's going to figure it out already. Oh, or not. Please watch your language. Everything you type is being broadcast live all over the world. Oh, yeah. Don't tell him that. <laughs> He's under a tremendous amount of stress. I understand. We're working on it. I'm sure he didn't mean what he said. What did he say? You're bringing this up while Vincent is in Pasadena, so he can't argue the other side. I shouldn't have to answer to Vincent or anyone else. It's time, Teddy. <sighs> they let him sit with this for four months. Well, what? How long was it since they found Mark was alive? Maybe a week, a month? I think it was like a little over a month. It was like on day 58 when they, or 59, 50 something when they saw the stuff moving from the images. I don't need to read Vogel's weird German fetish emails. The telemetry updates. Hey, whatever does it for you. <laughs> Mark Watney is still alive. We finally have communication with him and a viable rescue plan. <laughs> but, it, but it's not your fault. Mark stresses that every time it comes out. Sean Bean delivered that like so, like human, so real. Trying to micromanage my crops. 
which is awesome. <laughs> Look, I mean, I don't mean to sound arrogant or anything, but I am the greatest body <laughs> on this planet. Uh. The coolest one I got was from University of Chicago, my alma mater. They say that once you grow crops somewhere, you've officially <clears throat> colonized. <laughs> I colonized Mars. I don't know what I expect. <laughs> I don't know what I expected out of this movie, man. <laughs> I asked for a photo and what, he's the Fonz? Just be grateful we got you something, Annie. I can't use this, Vincent, and you know that. I need a picture of his face. Well, I could tell him to take off his helmet. <laughs> they grudgingly admit that he's he's doing great work. Grudgingly? Well, yeah, Mark has a tendency to tell him to have sex with themselves whenever they question one of his... <laughs> I hate this margin. 912 souls worth of food. We get there on 868, and that's assuming nothing goes wrong. Man, this is... I mean, I, I can't say that I've seen Jeff Daniels in a lot. But this is uh I'm, like leagues different than I'm used to seeing Jeff Daniels, man. Which I'll I'll be real. I've I think I've only seen Jeff Daniels in Dub and Dubber. <laughs> oh. Fucking duct tape to the rescue, man. He didn't lose his crops though, did he? No. Damn. Wow. What even happened? The integrity of the pressure cabinet just fucking... Lost integrity. I'm uh, uh, I'm gonna need to change your clothes. Is it too late for them to turn around? <laughs> I don't know. Damn. Could he replant? now or no uh, how's that not getting shredded by all that stuff in the storm wait rich rich wake up holy shit sorry but they're asking for the probe courses what time is it it's uh 342. <laughs> it's all right. Um, all 25 models for launch will take 414 days to reach Mars. They vary slightly in thrust duration, and the fuel requirement is nearly identical. Not a good time to launch, is it? Dude, it is insane how far Donald Glover has come from Derek comedy, man. I used to watch that shit so much when I was in college. Um, are you all right? Because there's just something about the way he's talking and carrying himself that reminds me of so many of his characters that he used to play. Anyone else know a safer way to buy more time? Dr. Keller, stretch Watney's rations four more days. You're not going to like it, but that'll get us to 15. And we'll cancel the inspections. Oh, sir, if that ever got out. It's on me. Damn. Wow. Everybody is really trying their best at this point to make this work. Seven days since I ran out of ketchup. No. What the hell is Project Elrond? Hmm. I had to make something up. Yeah, but Elrond? Because it's a secret meeting. <laughs> now we're going too fast at this point to fall into orbit, but we can do a flyby. Or could it's a flyby if we can't get lightning off the surface? Watney would intercept using the. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the plan is for me to use that to go into orbit just as the Hermes is passing and I guess they catch it. <laughs> All of the brain power on the entire planet helping me with this endeavor. And so far they've come up with, hey, why don't you drill holes in the roof of your <laughs> rover and hit it as hard as you can with a rock. <laughs> oh! That is not good for the suit, but... Man, and the world's kind of coming together against their own kind of governments to make this happen, too. And you said yes to this? He would have done the same for me, you know it. Dude, anybody that got pissed off about that could could go fuck off. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's shit like this that gives me so much mad respect for like the engineers and the scientists that can calculate all these things down, and the P even the people like maneuvering it and guiding it that have like this small meticulous margin of error where anything can just err oh my gosh dude wow i mean his rations are down man nobody explicitly gave me permission to do this and they can't until i'm on board the aries 4 so that means i'm going to be taking a craft over in international <laughs> waters without permission which by definition he's a pirate <laughs> Oh my god, this movie's wild. It It's so feel-good, too, at times, man. Such a fucking... I don't know, man. Half the time I've cried, it's been, like, out of, like, joy of what's going on. I mean, it's been, a, I could say, like, a few times where it's sad, but most of it's just been, like, in awe with the camaraderie and the ingenuity and the hope and the desperation. Lays the solar panels, waits 13 hours for them to recharge, and sleeps somewhere in there, and then starts again. He asked us to call him Captain Blondbeard. <laughs> 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 it's so beautiful, man. The North Zero Lock alone is 400 kilograms. You want to send a man into space without the front of his well, ship? No. Uh, we're going to have him cover it with tab canvas. Oh. You don't need a lot of streamlining. By the time the ship's going fast enough for air resistance to matter, it'll be high enough that there's practically no air. You want to send him into space? <laughs> It might be the second one. Really? Uh huh. Could be the first way. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it could be the first way. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I fucking love it. This is so ridiculous, but fun. And not ridiculous, like in a bad way or anything, but like. I wonder if they used a body double, because I, I don't believe he's slimmed down for that at all. If they used a body double or CGI to... Then we'll have 39 minutes to figure out how to slow down. Martinez, burn the jets. Copy that. <laughs> oh, I would not like the view of that. And all the air would leave, and we need air to not die. We would seal the bridge and the reactor room. Vogel? Uh, go ahead, Commander. I need you to come inside and make a... <laughs> <laughs> Bomb set. This does not seem like a good idea. Johansson? 260 meters, approximate. That's too far. Yeah, no, fuck that. Fuck that. Mark report. On my way, Commander. Damn it. 
<laughs> God. 11 meters to target. Six meters. Grab the grab the cable. Grab the cable. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's kind of goofy looking, but I love it. Both their helmets cracked and they both die. <laughs> oh, there's a little smell going on over there, bud. Oh, I haven't had a shower in a year. <laughs> He's gonna have to have so much dental work, too. <laughs> oh, wow. You just begin. You do the math. You solve one problem, then you solve the next one. And then the next. And if you solve enough problems, you get to come home. All right. Questions? Damn. Just like that. Oh, no, we're not done. Well, this is based on a novel. I didn't know that. Also didn't realize this was a Ridley Scott film. Damn, man. <laughs> Whoa, nice. This is a great way to do the credits, man. Pans into a spaceship. <laughs> you have disturbed our soil. Damn. All right, man. This movie was insanely good and insane. Oh, my God. This was wild, man. It was directed beautifully, written beautifully, and God, man, everybody acted their asses off. And this cast, man, Matt Damon, Jessica Chastain, Kristen Wiig, Jeff Daniels, Michael Pena, Sean Bean, Kate Mara, Sebastian Stan, Axel Hines, Chiwetel Ejiofor, Benedict Wong, Mackenzie Davis, Donald Glover, Nick Muhammad, and just go on and on and on and on and on and on. Holy shit. I don't know why, like, all I could think of about this movie and anything I've seen about it was uh, Matt Damon's face, and that's pretty much it. And I don't know what kind of tone I thought this movie was going to have. I thought it was going to be more somber, more solemn, more serious. Like, her, furrow your brow, serious kind of stuff. But it had such an energy... You know, it had tension, it had suspense, it had the thrills of the whole thing, the terror, um, and, like, a lot of those elements of obviously him being stranded there, the desperation, the, um, vanitas of it all, I, it was just really, but at the end of it, it had all of these things, all these heavy moments and beats, but it never lost that hopeful edge and it had this energy, this beat throughout the entire thing about survival, perseverance, and, you know, integrity, the strength to move forward and to not give up, not give in to defeat. Um, and it brought together all these people who initially were, you know, they wrote them off as dead and they were like, how can we salvage this, you know? Chiwetel's character got into this because he was trying to make some money off of the equipment they got left behind. And uh, Jeff Daniels, uh, Teddy, was trying to just, you know, worry about the next mission, getting everybody home and safe in that, not even thinking about going back up for right now or whatever, keeping the program going. Um, like we had, and then you had, of course, Sean Bean's character who was just like, really out there for the crew specifically. And th as this thing, as everybody kind of had their own agendas going on, how everything and everybody ended up for better, or for worse, or for different reasons or for different, whatever came together behind the same idea, the way, uh, Vincent shifted course and, you know, backed everything going on with and being honest, being open with, uh, Mark 
and Teddy even kind of coming around, even though he's still trying to think what's the safest way to do that, whether or not it adds additional years to this mission or whatever. He was trying to think about the bullet point, the minutia, the numbers, uh, while still trying to save his life, you know, like how fast can we get this done? You know, skipping the measures, the safety measures, how can we trim time off of this so we can get him food and fed for our next mission out there because he wants to get the people that we know are safe home rather than risk them while Sean wanted to at least leave that up to them knowing that they would want to go back because they left him and that they have that camaraderie and that companionship. And it became this mission, no matter what side of it, where everybody met in the middle to make this thing a reality one way or another. And it became this thing that became, I don't know. I know it's fiction, but like, I love seeing like the world come together and like that. And in the wake of something like this, we saw other powers, other countries getting involved and putting, it's just one of those things where it's just like, if only the world could aspire and unite under something like this, and pull their pull their resources, you know, governments and borders be damned, guidelines and whatever be damned, you know, and unite behind like just helping each other, helping somebody like that. And it's just it was beautiful. And Matt Damon slayed it in this movie, man. He really, really killed it. Um beautiful performance. Uh, everybody else was phenomenal as well, but I think like the shining beacon of this whole thing is Matt and what he did in during this entire film. Everybody else was spot on. I don't think there's a weak link in this entire movie whatsoever, but that energy that this thing had as they were trying to figure things out, problem solve, as he said, you know, solve one problem after the other. Um, everybody working in tandem with all these millions of miles between them, these delays as communications lapse, it takes minutes, 30, 20, whatever, for a communication to reach there and come back. The meticulous nature of the science behind it all, and I don't know how much of this is accurate, but fuck, they spouted it with that confidence that I like in these films, regardless of whether or not the numbers crunch or work or it's viable. I, I love the way they presented it with this confidence, with this... Uh, like genuine, genuine, uh, genuosity. That's not even a fucking word. What the fuck did I say? This like genuine nature to the way they really kind of committed to this language that they of storytelling that they in, invoked upon. Uh, it was beautiful, man. Cinematography was gorgeous. The soundtrack was great. The score when it was there was strong, and just the visuals throughout this. Um, it really made you feel the isolation and the desolate beauty of a barren land and being a sole person on an entire stretch of land and not even just a stretch of land, an entire fucking planet. And it never got him down. Even at the worst point, you know, it, it would come and it would go. It would come and it would go and he would persevere. And it was just... Uh, strong man science is powerful this was a great fucking movie man this was a great fucking pick and I was like going into this being like I don't know if I'm going to be able to react I don't know if there's going to be anything to like really kind of uh, evoke an emotion or evoke a reaction out of me <laughs> what the fuck did I know oh my god this movie was insane it was wild thank you guys for voting on it man for real whew I don't know. I might have to put this out on the channel. We'll have to see if uh, that's a lot to edit out. Man, guys, thank you for voting on this film. I'd love to, can't wait to see what the suggestion, what the winner is for the next month. Um, if this does happen to go on YouTube, uh, what did you think of the film when you first saw it? What did you think of the reaction? Uh, what are your thoughts on this entire thing in general? Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. We can talk about it in our Discord. Links to that in all my social description box below. Remember, you can check out the full-length reaction over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel. It gets you access to that as well. You also will get to vote uh, on what movies I watch for the channel and all that sort of thing. So... 
who knows? This might be a, a new go. I don't know yet. We'll have to feel it out. But before we go, I want to shout out to Channel Legends, Manny Sherrod, Ryan Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori Koryskov, Margaret Grace, Mary Bradley, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Cal Kestis Nation, and Raven McCann. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. And everybody who uh, voted on this and everybody who's supporting the channel and helping us get to this point. It's uh, Love you guys. That's it for this one, man. If only we could aspire to be as such united what we could achieve, man. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.